I got 20,000 new Instagram followers in just 70 days and I'm gonna show you how I did it. It's basically 285 new followers per day, although it came in spurts. So some days I would get like 500 followers, some days I would get 1,000 new followers, so it came in these big spurts. It wasn't like I got two, exactly 285 followers every day, because some days I would get like 100 followers. But in general, I got 20,000 new Instagram followers in a 70-day period, and I'm gonna walk through what I did right. So recently there was a big controversy in the Instagram community because Instagram removed the recents section of the hashtag area. Basically, if you aren't like in the community as tightly as all of us crazy Instagram people are, what that means is that smaller creators are gonna have a harder time being found because when you search for something by a hashtag, it now only shows the popular content versus the recent content, which means bigger content creators are gonna get bigger and smaller content creators are gonna have a harder time being found. Everybody was up and on and they were so mad at the CEO of Instagram and they were just, there was just comment wars happening um, on Instagram. And I wanna show you an example of what I'm talking about here because it's actually really problematic. Let me show you. Y'all, this sucks so much. If any of y'all are artists, let me know and I'll make sure to share your work. Instagram trying to not F over small creator challenge impossible. Why do they keep making this worse for artists? I just started reviving my account after a few years hiatus, basically just, I mean, more ton and ton and ton of why even make a change like this? What was the reason? I'm so ticked off. It's it's people in spending so much energy and so much hate over this minor change to Instagram, which granted does make it a little trickier to get found if you're a smaller creator. But here's why I wanna say this is, this is bad. These people feel, these small creators feel at war with Instagram. They feel that Instagram is out to get them as small creators. They feel that they're in this battle with the CEO and, and they're getting punished because they're small. I was reflecting that I cracked the Instagram algorithm because I worked with Instagram rather than against Instagram. I chose to believe that Instagram is for me and not against me. And I wanna explain this line of thought because this, this is an important line of thought if you want growth to be easy, if you want followers to come to you very easily, if you want continual growth and consistent growth, you need to start thinking like this. And mind you, I've built a, my Facebook group is now at 300,000 members. My email list is getting close to 400,000 members. Um, I'm just really good at building large audiences. And it's this line of thought that I've carried from one platform to the next that I wanna teach you. Instagram is not at war with small creators. The algorithm is not against you. What does Instagram want? They just want people to be on their platform for as long as possible. So they are going to reward content and content creators that is engaging, that keeps people interacting. Small creators kind of suck at creating content. I'm just gonna say that. Like we are still working on our skill of creating interesting, engaging content. So the reason why your content isn't doing as well as you would like it to isn't because Instagram hates you because you're a small content creator. It's because you need to improve on your skill of creating content, as do I, right? I'm also a work in progress. I'm not perfect at all. What I've learned is that when you work with Instagram or Facebook groups or you know building emails, when you work with it, rather than seeing yourself as a martyr in the cause, you get a lot further. So here's some specific examples of ways I worked with Instagram that really benefited me and helped me grow and get those 20,000 followers in 70 days. First thing that I did is I made reels and I made a lot of reels. I made at least one reel per day, sometimes two reels per day. Yeah, so I made at least 75 reels over the last 70 days. And some days I even did two reels a day. The thing is, love it or hate it, if you wanna grow quickly on Instagram, you have to make reels. If you don't wanna make reels, one, you can either accept that your growth will be way slower, right? You're gonna get a lot less followers if you don't make reels and that might be okay with you. Maybe you don't mind growing slow. Or you need to grow on a platform that doesn't need short form content. For example, Pinterest. You can write blog posts and then put them on Pinterest and grow on Pinterest. But what you shouldn't do is try to ignore the reality of what it takes to grow on a certain platform. If you wanna grow on Instagram and you wanna grow quickly, you have to make a bunch of reels, it just is. So what I did is I thought and acted like Instagram CEO Adam, I think Maseri is how you say it, or Maseri, I'm not sure. And I answered the question, what would Instagram want? Thinking about like, I own the company Instagram. What do they want of their content creators? They want their creators to create content in their app, right? They're competing with TikToks content creator. They're competing with like a ton of video editors that create content. Instagram wants their content creators to create content in app. 
Now, I will be the first to admit, Instagram's real editor just sucks balls, and you can bleep that out if you want to. It's the worst. It is so glitchy. Sometimes the text doesn't work. Sometimes the captions don't post. Sometimes the whole thing crashes. It is the worst. But I notice when I try to create in other editors and upload it, it just doesn't get as far reach. I reach less people. And, and I've talked to other content creators. They say the same thing. And it makes sense. If you, again, if you think about what does Instagram want, they want people to use their editor as sucky as it is. They want people to use it. So. I get with the program. I do complain about it a lot because I do hate it, but I just create an app. It's fine. Second thing they want is they want content creators to create content focused on watch time. If you think about it logically, what do they want? They want people to watch their content. So make content that has people watching um, your reels for as long as possible. So if my reel, let's say my reel was seven seconds long, I would try to make sure that my watch time was at least seven seconds long because that means they watch the whole thing. It's even better if it's like eight or nine or 10 seconds long because that means people are watching it on a loop. Um, but essentially, if my reel was six seconds long or seven seconds long, I would like the watch time to be six or seven seconds long, meaning my reel was so engaging, people actually watch the whole thing. And then finally, they would want their content creators to create content on a regular basis. I took a break from Instagram recently I took like a two week break. I'll, I'm not gonna lie to you. Like it's a grind to get back up to my old views. I'm making another video on this. They do punish you if you're inconsistent. It's as simple as that. And I'm feeling it right now. You know, I, I was super, super consistent. And then I took a week or two off because you know, it's okay. Like it's okay to take time off, but just understand that the penalty for taking time off is that you have to work your way back up to previous levels of engagement. It's just how it goes. It was the same thing with my Facebook group when I was building that. It's the same thing with every platform I've ever grown on. They reward consistent content. And when you aren't consistent, they shove your profile down or they don't push it out to as many people because they want to reward their content creators that they can trust will reliably create content. So a lot of content stuff, right? We talked a lot about, about this and I thought that it might be helpful for me to share my Instagram content lab with you. In this course, I share with you all the Instagram content that I use, not just to get followers and engagement, but also to make money, right? That's why I create content on Instagram is because I wanna grow my business, I wanna grow my income. And if you're feeling like you're fighting against Instagram rather than with Instagram, one of the easiest ways to break that is just to use content that you already know is gonna work. So my Instagram content lab literally does all the brain work for you so you don't have to think about what you're gonna create. Just follow my guidelines. Trust me, I've done all the work to figure out what does and doesn't work on Instagram. And you can just follow all my templates, all my guides. I make it really, really easy for you to consistently create content with Instagram. Right now, it's just $24. And when you buy this Instagram content lab, you're also gonna get 23 other business courses included. So basically each one is $1 and you get the whole thing for $24. Okay, so this is the page you're gonna click. When you click the link in the description, this is what you're gonna see. You're gonna get all of these 24 business courses for $24. And the one that I want you to start with, if you wanna start making money and getting a bunch of followers and engagement from Instagram, the one I want you to start with is this one here, my Instagram content lab. It's how I show you how to very quickly create content that makes you money, makes you sales, grows your business, super helpful stuff. So again, you're gonna get all of these for $24. Um, one thing that you should, that I wanna share with you is, I had somebody recently grab these and she shared that she made $2,000 within the first couple, I think weeks, I'm not exactly sure the timeline, but within the first couple days or weeks of buying the 24 courses for $24, she made $2,000 specifically from what I showed her how to do. So the return on investment is just frankly fabulous. To grab a copy of all these 24 courses for $24, just click the link in the description below and I will see you in the next one.